Hi guys and welcome back to Fonla April. Today we're doing something super super cool and I have to say it's been so challenging for me because I never made drawers before. So today I'm going to show you how to make kids desk with two drawers. Are you ready for it? To cut the plywood, you could use a table saw, and uh, if you don't have one available, circle saw would do just fine. You can use the uh, rip cut guide and um, attach it to the board to use it as a guide and cut your plywood in the lengthwise. Tabletop is here! Yeah, actually, it's gonna be like this. As usual, I have the PDF plans available on my blog with all the measurements and all the dimensions and um, yes, yeah, so it makes your job so much easier because you don't have to calculate all these measurements for drawers and you could just use mine. You're welcome. Okay, so pretty much most of the pieces are cut and now I'm gonna assemble it. So now I'm cutting the uh, sides for the drawers. Since I didn't receive uh, the brackets yet, you know, like the ones that are gonna go inside, I'm just gonna prep the wood and like, I'm just gonna uh, cut it. And then when I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna cut them to length. Now we're gonna do this fun part that I've never done before, but because you remember, this is my first time making drawers. Uh, when I need to make a groove, you know, like for the bottom drawer to get in. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're gonna put it this way. This is what has to be done. Oh, okay. We're gonna calculate half an inch from here. Right? Half an inch. Half an inch. Then I need to calculate the blade for a quarter of an inch. Something like this. Should I try another one? Let's do it! Look at this, so this is what I was talking about. You see, this is my first time doing this. I'm gonna run this line through all of them and then I'm gonna move my blade a little bit and make this groove a bit wider. Okay. Now we're gonna move this a little bit uh, to the left. Okay, so you see, we did two lines and now we're gonna run it in between and that's how we're gonna get ourselves a groove. You know what, I should have done this a long time ago, but better late than never. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Perfect. Using crack jack, make pocket holes on the smaller boards. And uh, yeah, so you have three boards and the third board was gonna be a metal divider between the two drawers. When attaching it to the base, use the glue and uh, one and a quarter pocket hole screws. The base for the table is ready. And when you're gonna be cutting the pocket holes for the drawers, make sure that you don't uh, drill the pocket hole into this uh, 
into this rabbit because you know like otherwise the screw is gonna come out and it's not gonna be very secure. So when you have all the details for your drawers, uh, just assemble it using the crack jack from all the sides. And as you can see here, you need to assemble the front side so the crack jack uh, holes on the front because we're gonna be covering the front later and it's not gonna be showing up from the sides. Does it make sense? Okay, who wants to take a bet if this is gonna be a perfect drawer? <laughs> Not so perfect. That's, that looks promising. <gasps> oh my god! I think I made a perfect drawer! Look at this! <laughs> so exciting. Okay, let me glue it together. Guys, check this out! And this drawer fits perfectly fine. Now I need to figure out how to attach those uh, this, these things, but it can't be that complicated, right? So when you assemble drawers and install them on the rails to the base of the table, you need to do it before you close off the top. And um, I chose these rails, they're 16 inches long, and uh, I made my drawers also 16 inches deep, so that worked perfectly fine. Attach the rails as per instructions on this thing, and uh, look at this! Isn't it magical? I think it's so awesome! Oh my god, <laughs> Check this out! Yay! Okay, now I need to take this out so I can attach it from all the sides. Step number three would be to add top to the kids to this kid's desk. Lay the top on the desk to the base and um, I used bread nailer because I didn't want to use screws because I felt that they're going to be like popping up too much and I didn't want them to be too visible. So I just uh, used the wood glue and the bread nailer to attach the top. And then you can lightly sand the whole thing to make sure there's no splinters and it's super super smooth. You can also uh, use a wood filler to cover the bread nails holes and uh, voila! It looks so awesome, right? Okay, so now we need to make the pretty front door, front things, and uh, yeah, and we're done. Okay, so I cut this from one and a half, one and a half uh, inch plywood, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna attach it like this, but don't you worry, this is not the end, because we're gonna add some nice, cute little trim. But look at this! <laughs> Brilliant! So yeah, I touched it with the screws over here and now we can take this off and check this out. Oh, let's take this off too. Okay, now check this out. Oops. Okay, what happened? Huh? Huh? What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> okay, we just needed a little bit of adjustment, but all good. 
now we got the perfect drawer. Okay, so here's the thing. So you see, I left this like uh, one quarter of an inch um, open because I want to add the trim. But if I didn't add the trim, then I could just... Uh... Okay, so instead of half an inch plywood to add three quarters of plywood and then this gap would be completely flush. Hi guys! So I already started painting this uh, table and I painted the bottom because that's so, so I could flip it over and also I started painting with this beautiful vanilla paste color uh, the sides and I'm gonna cover the top as well. Now we're gonna add those uh, little trims over here. Look at this. Yeah, so this is basically what we're gonna be doing. And I already went ahead and um, I painted some of these uh, trims, you know, like so it's going to be easier to... So now we're going to cut it and then I'm going to put the second layer on top and uh, yeah, it's going to be easy peasy. Let's do it! So I made this uh, stop block, so you know, so I don't have to measure every single cut because they're all pretty much the same and uh, yeah, it's going to make the process so much easier. When you're going to be adding the trim, make sure that you measure it as you go. So don't pre-cut all of them because at some point, I don't know why, I think because uh, I squished a little bit the metal, uh, one side was one millimeter shorter than the other. So if you want it to look nice and smooth, just start cutting it as you go and always make sure that you fit them in to see that they fit perfectly. Yeah. And we're going to lay it, leave it to dry. <laughs> yeah, so I glued this part and I'm going to put now the dumbbell something heavy so it can settle in and we're gonna start gluing another part so i painted the, the trim before i started actually cutting it so it would have the first layer already and it would be easier for me to get into all the holes into all the details and to make sure that it's painted beautifully we just finished the second layer and now i'm gonna paint over the top and then i'm gonna add the edge bending to the drawers over here to cover this plywood edge Beautify myself. Oh. Okay, so I chose to use a hairpin legs because uh, I want this desk, you know, like to kind of grow with my kids, you know, like, and if anything, I can always change this, the length of this hairpin legs, you know, like, and change them for something taller. Yeah, so it's gonna, this desk gonna grow with the kids. Brilliant. Oh my god, I feel it's so gorgeous and I'm so so happy that the drawers fit and um, yeah, that was like my first drawers ever That makes me so so super excited, you know guys Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it I hope now you know how to make this desk for kids and uh, yes, you can always visit my blog and um, see all the step-by-step -step instructions Happy building guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!